Today, June 1st, is the start of a new hurricane season as we look ahead to another hurricane season. I talked with a climate and hurricane expert with NOAA, a scientist researching extreme weather events and a changing climate, and the director of the National Hurricane Center to help break down how, how hurricane seasons now are different than they used to be. Tropical Storm Arthur and Bertha showed up early in May of 2020 before the official June 1st start of hurricane season. From there, 28 more tropical storms or hurricanes developed, using up the list of names for the 2020 hurricane season and eight names from the Greek alphabet. There were 30 of these storms in total, 13 hurricanes, seven of which were major hurricanes. As we head into a new hurricane season, it's undeniable that our tropical landscape is changing starting with seeing these storms earlier. In the last six years, there's been a named storm before the start of hurricane season. In fact, in the last decade, 10 preseason storms have developed compared to just three in the previous decade. As a result, beginning this year, the National Hurricane Center started issuing their regular tropical outlooks on May 15th instead of June 1st. Hurricane seasons are also more active than they used to be. Over the last decade, an average season was said to have 12 named storms, six hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. The Atlantic Ocean moved into a more active period in 1995, which has now resulted in an increase in what we consider a normal normal season. As we enter a new decade, an average hurricane season is now considered to have 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, with the number of major hurricanes remaining at three. Tropical forecasters say 2021 has the potential to be even more active than that. Colorado State University predicts 17 named storms, eight hurricanes, with four of those becoming major hurricanes. Climate and extreme weather researchers remain hesitant to attribute the recent increase in tropical activity to humans. But we can say that due to the impacts of humans on climate change, the storms are becoming more intense and impacting us more. Sea levels around the world are rising, including right here in Tampa Bay. Now, computer forecast models help scientists run simulations for what that could mean for storm surge. You know, some places get more storm surge, other places got less. But one thing that was a fact, further inland. So it will create uh, increased flooding risk at the coast no matter what happens, even if even if the hurricanes don't change at all. But hurricanes themselves are changing. As the atmosphere and oceans warm and sea ice melts, water vapor in the atmosphere increases. An increase of sea surface temperatures of about one degree Celsius has been estimated to result in a 7% increase in the intensity of the rainfall in a hurricane. We're not necessarily seeing the strongest evidence for more storms, but we are seeing a trend to stronger. The thing we know very well is that in the warmer world, the most intense storms, the Category 4s and the Category 5s, will become more intense. We aren't just talking about more intense hurricanes, but storms that rapidly intensify right up to landfall, ultimately producing more and longer lasting damage to our Florida communities. Yeah, we've always said that no matter how active a hurricane season is, it only takes one storm to make it a busy season for, for you and me, and, and this may be even more relevant in a warmer world. A changing climate is bolstering the intensity of hurricanes, and we all need to be better prepared and aware. We've got more for, of this on a piece that we call Warmer World, Stronger Storms. Just text WARM to 727-577-8522 to get a link sent straight to your phone. And June 1st is the start of hurricane season, so we're looking at the forecast. I just mentioned there, Colorado State University forecasting for 17 named storms. NOAA recently releasing their outlook as well, and they're projecting 13 to 20 named storms, 6 to 10 hurricanes, and three to five major hurricanes. And, and one of those reasons as well, because the ocean right now is warmer than normal. Much of the Atlantic Ocean, including the Caribbean, where we know we get some real quickly developing storms, are all seeing warmer than normal temperatures for this time of the year. So that's factor number one contributing to that active forecast. A neutral El Nino is in place right now. A La Nina may develop, which means that those storms are not expected to be suppressed by wind shear, which is typically what you see in a La Nina pattern. And then 
enhanced West African monsoon is also expected, and that is going to just provide more robust tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa. Now, right now, the Atlantic is relatively calm. I've been tracking this upper level low pressure system off the southeast coast of the Florida Peninsula. It doesn't have any real signs of developing, but it's, it's something to watch with a frontal boundary nearby. But for the time being, over the next five days, guys, nothing is expected to develop. But June 1st is here, and, and that means hurricane season starts today.